Today's video topic is the dumping syndrome. The dumping syndrome is a condition that can occur after a person has surgery to remove all or part of their stomach. It can also occur after a person has surgery to bypass their stomach to lose weight. The dumping syndrome happens when food and liquids dump from the stomach into the small intestine too quickly. Types of dumping syndrome Dumping syndrome has two types, early dumping syndrome and late dumping syndrome. Early dumping syndrome occurs within the first 30 minutes to 2 hours after you eat or drink. It causes symptoms like cramping, nausea, bloating, dizziness, diarrhea, and vomiting. Late dumping syndrome, on the other hand, occurs 1 to 3 hours after you eat or drink. It causes symptoms like dizziness, sweating, fatigue, fast heart rate, shaking, lightheadedness, and heart palpitations. Causing of Dumping Syndrome Dumping syndrome is caused by the speed at which food leaves your stomach and enters your small intestine. Normally, the muscles in your stomach and small intestine work together to move food along. After surgery, the muscles in your stomach may not work as well. This can cause food to empty too quickly from your stomach into your small intestine. So, in the case of the early dumping syndrome, the rush of food to the intestines causes a lot of fluids to move from the blood to the intestines. This large amount of fluids cause the diarrhea and bloating. Other than that, the intestines themselves secrete substances that cause an increase in your heart rate speed and a decrease in your blood pressure. These two effects combined cause the dizziness symptoms. Diagnosis Dumping syndrome is diagnosed based on your symptoms and medical history. Your doctor may also do tests such as blood tests, an upper gastrointestinal x-ray, and gastric emptying study. Treatment Dumping syndrome can be treated with changes in diet, medicine, and in some cases, surgery. Diet changes include eating smaller meals, eating more slowly, chewing food thoroughly, avoiding high sugar foods and drinks, and avoiding fatty foods. Also, your doctor may ask you to avoid drinking fluids 30 minutes before or after eating. If the mentioned changes don't help, the doctor may prescribe medicines like octreotide, which is a medicine that slows down the movement of food from the stomach into the small intestine. And it also blocks the release of insulin. But it can cause side effects like nausea, pain at the injection point, and changes in your blood sugar levels. Your doctor may also prescribe a drug like acarbose, which is a drug for another condition, but it can help reduce the symptoms of late dumping syndrome. In some cases, surgery might be needed to correct the problem that is causing dumping syndrome. If, for example, the problem started to happen after a stomach bypass surgery, then your doctor may recommend a surgery to reverse the previous bypass surgery. Complications The complications of dumping syndrome can be serious, including dehydration from vomiting and diarrhea malnutrition from not being able to eat enough, weight loss, and low blood sugar levels. So, as you can see, dumping syndrome can be a serious condition if left untreated. However, most people who have dumping syndrome can manage their symptoms with diet and lifestyle changes. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.